What's going on my fellow guardians? My name is Hoplo. Today is um, Friday, October 14th. We're back here in the tower and we're going to make our way to the same spot we were last week. Um, Zer decided not to move, so you can find them in the same corner as last week. Over here on the far end by the speaker. Um, let's check out his stock. Alright, for this week he decided to bring um, for the exotic, the engram, the gauntlets. It's going to be 19 strange coins. Then for the Titan class, he's got the MK44 stand sides. These have an intellect from 47 to 70 and strength from 49 to 72. The possible stat rolls for the intellect are 47 to 79 and for the strength they're um, 47 to 79. This one gives you increases the duration of shoulder charge and tighter turn radius while sprinting, increases the amount of shotgun ammunition you can carry, increase agility for 5 seconds after an arc double kill, it's going to be 13 strange coins. Pretty useful in PvP and I suppose a little bit in PvE too, but we like to shoulder charge and run around, pretty cool, especially with the shotgun, you get increased ammunition, so it's pretty good for PvP. For the hunter class, we got the Bones of Yao. It's got an intellect from 54 to 77 and discipline from 55 to 78. Possible stat rolls for the intellect are um, 47 to 79 and for the discipline they're um, 47 to 79. They're pretty good, both hunter and titan class. Up there in the top stats, I guess. Upgrades double jump with an additional jump, increases the amount of shotgun ammunition you can carry, increases agility for 5 seconds after a, a solar double kill. This one's also 13 strange coins. Um, pretty useful for the hunter if you like to increase the amount of jumps you have. You can go up to 4 jumps depending on what um, class and what type of jump you're running. So pure, pretty useful in that respect if you like to juke people out with jumping so much and... Um, I mean, it was pretty useful last year in the Taken King when you needed increased jump for making the jump puzzles, but um, you'd be the judge. And then finally for the um, Warlock, we got the Sunbreakers. It's got a discipline from 37 to 54 and a strength from 39 to 56. Possible stat rolls for the discipline are 35 to 94, so not as great, and a strength from... 35 to 60. This one gives you increases the duration of your solar grenade while gaining an additional solar grenade charge, increased grenade throw distance, increased reload speed with scout rifles. This one's going to be 13 strange coins. It's pretty much useful if you're um, you're running Sunsinger and you like to throw a lot of solar grenades, you know? Other than that, not so much. I mean, they look pretty stylish, I guess, but... um. Just for solar grenades. And then for this week, you decided to bring the Trespasser Arc Sidearm. It's got um, kills with this weapon, grand enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time. This weapon fires bursts of bullets with deadly accuracy. Reloading after a kill causes the next burst to be longer, more powerful. Super burst. It's going to be 23 um, strange coins. And let's check out some of the other things it's got. Fast draw IS. It's got steady hand IS. Sure shot IS. Relentless Tracker, Hand Loaded, Reinforced Barrel, Quick Draw, it's got Unrepentant, then for um, the Adornments we got Fallen Assassin, gives you that kind of look, and then we got Crucible Assassin, not a bad look. Alright, and um, the Weapon Adornments for this week are the Moon Glow, it's um... 25 silver and storm reproach it's 25 silver we got plasma drive we got void drive we got heavy ammo synthesis we got three of coins we got glass needles and we got multi lights um stock up on your heavy and your strange um three of coins because you're gonna need them for um the raid <laughs> i have a feeling we're gonna need a lot of heavy you know <laughs> So we don't have anybody complaining in the rain next week because it's obviously, if you guys don't remember, um, it's coming out next week, the heavy, um, the hard, hard raid. So um, you're going to need, other than that, recommendations here, I mean, these two are pretty useful in um, 
Especially this one in PvP. This one could be too. But they're also pretty high in their st stats, so I'd probably get them. And if you don't have the Trespasser, you might as well get it too. It's a pretty cool sidearm, you know? Other than that, that's um that's it for Zer stuff this week. Um make sure to check out my videos next week and um sorry I wasn't able to post anything on Monday. I mean Tuesday, it was just Comcast, you know. <laughs> they didn't have any service so it kinda sucked. But um hopefully I shouldn't have any problems next week and I'll be posting my videos on online. Anyways, this is Hoplo signing out. Catch you later, Guardians. Bye.